Okay, this is not, this is hysterical. Welcome to session 40, the kingdom of Agic. I'm Gregory, this is 1 in 20 D&D. We've had some technical difficulties getting things off the ground, so I'm going to do a quick, quick version to get this thing going. Uh, last time, the party encountered Marlos Ernreal, the leader of the Black Earth. The He is a Medusa, and apparently went to get some reinforcements, showed up with a couple of ogres, a priest in tow, and attacked the party. The combat ensued during that bit of combat that we had in the last session. Kaelin was attacked by Marlos's uh, snake hair and poisoned, and he went down in that, uh, in that round. We just had Kyra attempt to bring her water watery sphere which she had previously captured the priest in tried to drag it forward and capture Marlos as well and for just a moment it looked like it was going to work he floated up into the sphere started flailing around and was just trying his best to get out of it like tossing turning for a moment and got frustrated and angry flexed all of his muscles at once in game terms, he used the legendary resistance to not fail the saving throw and dropped to the floor, soaking wet and angry. Uh, Kyra scooted out of the way so she can't see his face anymore, standing back against the wall and is now determining what to do next. And Kyra, I think you said that you're going to hold off now? Uh, yeah. All right. Um... I'm going to keep hitting him until he gets sucked in. All right. Sounds good. So I'm going to... Oh, this is going to be interesting. I guess i got to scoot him forward. So the, let's say that the water kind of pushes him forward onto that difficult ter terrain. Uh, caltrips are... He has to make, like, a save for those caltrips, I think, right? Yep. Um, what's... Is that a dexterity save? Do you remember? I think so. I believe it is. Uh, there's a DC 15 deck saving throw. Or stop moving and take one piercing damage. Alright, so here's a dexterity saving throw. Let's see if he can... Oh, he does not succeed. So he, he takes a point uh, of... Pier oh, what happened? Did I just like delete his token or something goofy? Uh, that's easily fixed. Um, so Marlos, uh... It's probably behind. Oh, maybe it is. You're probably right. Uh... Caltrops of Annihilation. Back. Thank you um, for that. Good choice. Alright, so he takes a point of piercing damage as his snake body lands uncomfortably on the, uh... on the, um... Caltrops. Uh, he's prone, right? Uh, is it? No, he's mobile. Uh, he stops. Oh, he just stops stop moving. Okay. Oh, that's piercing. that's that's ball bearings. Okay. Right. Uh, his he is slowed by ten feet. In fact, uh, so he is uh, definitely uncomfortable as some of them are still stuck in his snake-like body. All right, Boslan, it is your turn. Um, <clears throat> if I step. Once we're closer, am I going to hit the caltrops? Well, at the beginning of your turn, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, the caltrops are not in the square in front of you. They're directly under Marlos. They're just one five foot by five foot. Yes, correct. Alright, so with our massive con saving throw, 22 is way more than you need. Uh, so he he sees you moving forward, I get or getting ready to move forward, and then uh, kind of glares at you. His eyes shine, but uh, you kind of glint through the visor of your helm and uh, shuff, you know, shrug it off. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with the conservative approach and just attack twice with the short sword. Alrighty, all right. 24 hits, and that's a solid first strike. You pierce into the snake body. Um, I believe a 13 is... Well, so, do you want to use your... Uh, 
Inspiration. Bardic Inspiration. I thought I'd already used that. Um... Um... I think we decided for some reason you didn't need to. No, maybe you did. Let me let me scroll back and see if I can figure it out. Yeah, which I'm trying to figure out. I do see an eight on there. All right, yeah. so we'll say you did use it then. Uh, so okay, so a thirteen is going to miss, unfortunately. Okay, um, so I stick him once. You do stick him one time. Uh, At least it was a good stick. The twenty-four was a solid hit. Uh, his armor is not correct. I gotta fix that. No, that's you I'm looking at, not Marlos. I want Marlos. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay, so the the 24 hits, the 13 misses. So he takes 14 piercing damage. Uh, did you want to do anything else? I don't think so. Um, I believe I've used my other sort of special abilities already for this rest period, so I think I'm down just sticking at him twice per round. Okay. Yeah, they're on your sheet, make sure you like um, keep track of it. It's you know, you just click on the um, there should be like a one slash one kind of deal for each of those so, so you can track them. Alright, so that is boss line. Uh, next is going to be um, Marlos. Uh, so for his movement, seeing that uh, he's got a new threat in front of him, he is going to uh, just attack you. So first he's going to attack with Iron Fang, his weapon. Uh, so you see this, this massive, nasty-looking pick, uh, war pick. Uh, and he pulls back and takes a swipe at you with the war pick. Uh, the war pick misses. It clangs loudly off your shield. Uh, in the same instance, his his snakes just kind of like writhing around above his head. They they lash out and try to strike at you. The snakes also miss because of your fantastic armor. So they try to like bite onto your neck and and around your face, but you're wearing your helmet and your your collar of your plate mail comes up too high. They can't find purchase. Oh, that was close. It was Eat close. shield. <laughs> right. That's, that's metal armor. All right, so that's it for Marlos. Kalen, I need you to make a death save, buddy. Again? Uh, one per round until you're what, healed three, or three stabilized. Wins. Three wins, three losses. Round. So. Still so want him to How focus I, on you again. How do I do it again? On your sheet, in the middle, there should be a uh, button for death saving throw. You click on that, and it'll roll for you. Uh, or you can just roll a d20. It's just the same thing, essentially. I'll do that. It's right in the... At least it was... Sure, 18 is a success. Fantastic. Uh, oh, so right in the middle next to your hit dice, there's the death saves, success and failures. You can click on those little dots. To oh, to I, I, I see. And I then see. where the text actually says death that'll saves, roll it. that'll roll it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Perfect. Cool. All right. Thanks. So you're good. So that's two successes, I believe, right? Yep. All right. Fantastic. All right. Uh, at the same moment that you are, are trying to... Uh, avoid going to the light <laughs> um, the door opens and uh, the guard sticks his head out and says hey what's going on out here and he kind of sees he sees Marlos who kind of like waves him out with like an angry gesture uh, that's all he's going to do is open that door this turn but you see he is apparently in the fight now uh, or at least he's being called into the fight uh, put him in the right place it's when you try to negotiate but people just want to die today yeah. you know? well <laughs> you know we'll see if we'll see if mirage stays in, out of the fight or not he's, yeah. he's, uh... i'm gonna glare at the guy fair enough uh in the same moment though uh 
the monk is going to squeeze through. He can't quite get to anyone because he had to use a, a lot or part of his movement to get through. Uh, so he's going to just barely um, make it out through the door uh, and sort of assess the situation. But that's all he can do this turn. Um, so he is there. Uh, then it will be uh, Farron's turn. Okay. Um, Actually, I'm gonna put Farron in front of those two because he had he he had been pushed down because he held his action, but he's still quicker than the two of them. So I'm gonna put him first, and then the two of them. And so it is now the priest's turn. He okay. So I'm just trying to find this. So restrained. I gotta remind myself what restrained means. Uh, so I guess I need that damn sheep. Where's my cheat sheet? Where's my cheat sheet? There's my cheat sheet. Okay, so restrained, uh, just so I ref refresh my memory. Speed of zero, disadvantage on deck saves, attacks have disadvantage, enemy attacks have disadvantage. So he can do stuff if he wants to. Not according to the, the spell. Does it say? Okay, so that's yeah. what I'm trying to... Okay, I want so... Uh, he has all of his yeah. action to get out if he wants. To. He's uh, drowning. Save. Save. In right, other words. right. I get that. Okay, so uh, on a failed save, a creature is restrained by the sphere and is engulfed by the water. At the end of each of its turns, a restrained target can repeat the saving throw. The sphere constrains. Blah, blah, blah. If the sphere restrains a creature that causes it to exceed its capacity, that one falls out. As an action, you can move the sphere. You can move the pit. Blah, blah, blah. No, it just says restrained, Michelle. I mean, so they can right. still act. It doesn't say right. they have to use. They can only use their move. Okay. So at the end of its turn. Well, then I guess he would follow the rules for water combat. Then. Yeah, I mean he's. So kind he of... can't make any verbal. Right. Unless exactly. he wants to start drowning. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So is he? Does he have anything to do? Then is the question, which I don't know that he does. <sighs> um. Maybe I'm just going on what Jeremy Crawford probably said or something like that. Who knows? Uh -huh. So I apologize. I don't think he has anything he can do. Um, that doesn't do anything. Um, that doesn't do anything. Uh, uh, I think he's got to use that. I think that requires a verbal. So uh, I'm going to check one thing, and then if that doesn't work, which it probably won't, uh, then he's going to just try to get himself out of there. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work, and I don't think that'll work either. So he's pretty much screwed. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> he has nothing he can do uh, because his staff is worthless. So he is essentially doing nothing other than attempting to get himself out. Oh, wait a minute. No, Farron is supposed to. Did I screw something up? Yeah. No, Farron was supposed to go. I don't know why I was worried about him. So for, before the priest goes, the Farron goes. I'm sorry. Okay, so Farron um, is going to take one step forward. Okay. And he's going to use his action to cast haste on uh, Bastion. Nice. Oh, God, this is going to get ugly. <laughs> so now you have an extra attack, and your AC goes up two. Um, oh my god. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So you have, what, like three attacks attack plus a bonus or something like that. So it's just an extra like attack, not an action. Uh, that action can be used only to take the attack, one weapon attack only, dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. It's specific to the spell. Right. So you can, like, attack, attack, like your normal... And then so you can you attack again, attacks. and then you can do your offhand. So okay. I get a free attack, not a free action, which would be... Yeah, not a free action, attack. just a free attack. Exactly. Yeah. One extra. Because I, one of these days, I want to get seven attacks in at one time. You will, I'm sure. It's disgusting. Uh, if you action surge, I don't know. How many is that? Five? Something like that? Well, <laughs> yeah. If I do my action surge, I get four, and if I get the critical on one of them or a kill, it's five. Right. So with the haste, I could get six. Six. There, there we go. Close. Okay. Pretty awesome. Well, when you get to the high enough level, you will be able to. Until I have a heart attack and die of old age. Or right. Middle of all that. And then he is right. going to back up a step and come this way. That is a great and that's all I can think of right now. 
Excellent. Let no, that, that was super. Really smart. So, good move, Farron. Uh, so, Haste's boss lawn steps back for cover. Uh, then the Black Earth Guard opens the door, and the monk steps out in almost the same instant, let's say. Then the Black Earth Priest can't really do anything, and then, so it's a strength save, right, to get out of that, yes? Strength save to break his... Believe so. At the end of his turn. Call. You suck. So, uh, yeah, this dude's pathetic. Um, he's pretty much hosed. Uh, what's his constitution? Let me, let me... Okay, his so it's only been a few seconds. So he's frustrated and like floating around, but it's it's only been like what eighteen seconds or something that he's yeah. been in there. Uh, so uh, I think the the number he's on good. the sphere needs to roll down one when you get a second. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so and it's back to your turn. So maybe it should be seven now. If I I think as soon as I go, yep, it'll be seven. Yeah, it's your turn. He couldn't get out of it. <laughs> Oops. I got it. I got it. Floating Let's around in there uselessly. Alright. Well, I'll just do a seven, then I'll. Okay, so. um. Technically, yeah, it's seven at the end of this round. That's fine. And I'm going to bash it into him again. Sure. All right. Making him use his stuff if he fails it. Okay, yeah, exactly. Good idea. Taking so long. Mr. Floaty. All right, he's going to try to make safe saving throw. Oh, that was a strength check. Damn it. Uh, which is essentially the same. So he does not succeed. Uh, so, yeah, he... Uh, I think he's going to have to try to use his new... His last... Um, his last... Uh, um, it, it, I think it is a strength saving throw anyways. Yeah, uh, but I don't... For some reason, the sh saving throws aren't showing up on here. Oh, you but mean like the, the instead of the just the regular, yeah, I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's weird. He doesn't have any extra bonus for his saving throw, so it's just, that's what it is, that's fine. So, um, so he does not succeed, so he is definitely going to use his last legendary resistance, because he does not want to be incapacitated right now. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. so that's good, so he's clear of that, um... And he's then going to attempt to. Well, uh, first let me wait, see where wait, he wait. ends up. I'm sorry, I I didn't finish my turn, by the way. Oh God, what am I doing? I, I'm jumping ahead anyway because boss one goes. No, what I meant to think, what I was trying to think about, is where he's going to end up. So I'm going to say um, Adi goes. It'll through. spit him out in an unoccupied space. Right. So, so it's got to be probably right next to Basilon on the right, I guess. Well, so I'm going to say Odd. He goes to the left of Basilon, and even he'll go to the right of Basilon. Oh, wait, no problem. And then... Alright, so he pushes over this way. I'm gonna... Because cool, now you can get both of them. <laughs> Alright, spectacular. So, healing word... Healing soothing words somehow meet your consciousness as you lay uh, uh, prone on the floor, Kaylin. Yeah, uh, yeah. To the Go tune ahead. of... Healing word... To do... Six hit points. Six nice. hit points. Fantastic. So, Kaylin, you <gasps> got your breath. Come back to consciousness on the ground, feeling the sting in your neck still, the soreness, and uh, tr quickly trying to grasp the situation around you. And I'm going to step just here so I can see a little better. So your death saves reset. You can clear out those bubbles. Uh, did you have... Uh, okay, you're just stepping to the side. All right. Spectacular. So next up Thank is. Thank you, Kyra. Indeed. Next up is Boslon. I the will hurt. do three chops at him. Yeah, let's see it. This is gonna be sick. Slice. Well, sick if I hit. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> and oh wow! Oh, that's two crits in a row. Oh, no, I did it. Come <laughs> boom. Okay, your haste is defective. It threw off my timing. All right, so, uh, so you but hit these since two. it was a crit, I get an additional attack due to the um, one of my abilities here. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Uh, maybe you will get seven. No. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Wicked. Yeah, this is this is totally this is random. Insane. <laughs> you, you do like damage plus. Well, it's been uh, fun, guys. I'm going to Vegas. Right? Gregory, <laughs> seriously, say it again. Yeah, the, for some reason the damage isn't right. We're gonna have to fix it. So, on the first one, 
Uh, you should have. Uh, so your short sword does six plus. Uh, so I do d6 plus eight. Eight. So you so your reg so you do twelve plus a die roll. So the first one did eighteen damage. The second one also did eighteen damage. Jesus. See, this doesn't seem right because it's it says rolling six and six and six. So something is really goofy. Something's off. This. Um. Hmm. Uh, Reed said he was at home now. All right. So, super, so he'll, log he'll be on a bit. Excellent. So, right. so your, here's what uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I can reroll the damage. How does your criticals work? Yeah. So what I like for criticals, because I want them to be, I want criticals to mean something, because you can roll two dice. Because normally you just double the dice in the fifth edition rules, and nor so you could roll two dice, but roll two ones, and that's lame. So I've seen it done a bunch of different ways. For now, the way I like it for now is you do max damage plus one die roll. Okay. So for your short sword, it's 12 plus a d6. So why don't you – I'll give you the benefit of one of those sixes, but why don't okay. you roll – Okay, Where, where's the 12 coming from? I do d6 plus 8, so max would be 14 plus one uh, d6. I did the math wrong. I'm sorry, 14. You're right. I, I, okay. I'm not thinking so, correctly. do you just want me to re-roll fresh 3d6 plus uh, 42? No, that's fine. Uh, I mean, let's just let's just go with roll roll the sixes, the two d6s for me. Well, I have three crits. I know. I was gonna give you the benefit of one of those sixes, even though it doesn't seem like it rolled right. Oh, I I can just re-roll fresh. Doesn't make much difference. All right. So then roll 3d6. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. And that's why we uh six plus forty two. Alright. So um yeah. so that's two, three, four extra damage. So, so my extra D six is pretty feeble, but yeah. Still fourteen times three Yeah, three full strength hits. Is forty two. Yeah. So it's a forty six total I see what you did. So forty six damage total from those three nasty hits. Ouch. Yeah. Uh so he seriously felt that nastiness. Um, he is now bleeding profusely from three different puncture wounds in, in his belly and his chest and uh, probably part of the snake body. Uh, and don't forget last rounds. Yeah, he, he is hurting for certain and uh, not happy at all. Hurting for certain. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, movement. Or uh, let's see, use the bonus action to make your extra attack. So you have movement if you want to do anything. Um, I think I'm going to stay where I am. Yeah, uh, actually, no, I want to move down so that if we move the uh, sphere forward, um, I don't get knocked into it. Okay, sure, perfect. And so I'll, yeah. I'll try to keep him between me and the sphere. Sounds good. Very good, very good. All right, awesome. Well done, boss line. All right, so now it is Marlos's turn, and that it just incensed him. Um, he is is oh, I forgot to have you make a freaking saving throw. Gosh darn it, that's my fault. So I thought you did. Lucky you. you. Yeah, you did. Did you? When the first time he entered his area, he had to make it. Yeah, but it's every round unless you're averting your gaze. Which, oh. you're, which you're not. So. No, I, I said from the start I've been averting my gaze. I'm not going to like be looking at any uh, dude oh, up front. Oh, because then you have disadvantage on all your attacks. Yeah. So those so. would be crits. Oh, I thought it was like a minus two penalty or something. Nah. No, it's a, it's uh, a disadvantage. Nah. Okay. Nah. So, well, I guess it is. Might as well go ahead and roll. Cause yeah, so <laughs> let's just. Sit. Yeah, if I had disadvantage, that would have like thrashed me, so I wouldn't have done that. I guess I just have to suck it up. Yeah. Okay, so constitution check. Let's see if the luck's holding. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Good. Thank you for Glad doing it that. Is. Uh, <laughs> Cause that would have sucked. Important yeah. details. It helps having a huge. In my mind, I see myself slashed into pieces as I turn to stone <laughs> and fall over. Well, that, that's exactly how I see this. Because... I don't have great yeah. restoration. You're gonna be like there, dude. Exactly. So Boslan is is a pit fighter. You know, he's a gla ex gladiator. So this dude, he's you know, fighting blind to him isn't really that big of a deal. So yeah, I, that's kind of how I see all this happening. Uh, critical miss is me trying to kick him in the nuts till I realize he's got a snake body and it didn't yeah. really work. Yeah. I'm just I'm just I'm just waiting for Baslan to say, Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but he is pissed at you and he's going to lash out with both of his attacks uh, and see if he can retaliate. So for the war pick, 
A 14 isn't going to do it. And Sorry, pal. Uh -huh. With the snake hair, he does pierce Ooh. through. So you take... Unfortunately, it's only 18. Well, no, it's not unfortunate. But you only take 18 damage. But that's 8 piercing and 10 poison. So somehow the snakes catch, like, maybe your cheek or your jaw and just latch on and... and, and Inject this venom into you. You feel it burn down your neck, uh, and and kind of pull away as the fangs get yanked out of your skin. Uh, Twenty one wasn't enough, Pasalon. He is. Uh, he is also pissed and not a dummy, so he is going to essentially swing around behind you. Let's see here. It goes there and then there. So hopefully that worked. He, he basically swings around to get behind you now. Uh, and that's the end of his turn. I, I don't get, like, any save for the poison portion of that. Um, is there a save for the poison? Uh, yeah, how does that work, Greg? Is the poison, poison, is it persistent? It's just, so for Marlos, it's just poison damage. Got it. It's not poison that has a save or any lingering effects. Well, like, not the poison condition. Awesome. Glad you're here, Farron. We'll see you in a moment. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, I can let me check something. You're probably there. We are. All right. Add over here on the screen. All right. So yeah. So you. So it's poison damage, just like thunder damage or fire damage, or it's just added damage from the bite. But there's no lingering effects. It doesn't give you the condition of being poisoned. Now, if you're resistant to poison, it would reduce the damage. You're resistant to melee attacks because you're. I get a great plus weapon. three armor class because I'm a defensive duelist. Um, but then, aren't you? And resist I believe that's. Let me check if that's melee attacks have, or weapon the, attacks. You have the heavy, heavy armor master thing, right? Yeah, I've got two feet. Um, one because I'm a human, and one for just whatever reason. So the heavy armor master. Um, Reduces non-magical piercing, slashing, um, and bludgeoning damage by three. Now okay. I assume snake so bites take, don't count as so It is. It's pierced. It's not. Oh wait, is it considered magical? Um, oh, that's interesting. Well, I'm gonna say for this, it's gonna be magical. He's. Well, he's separate from that, the defensive duelist, my other feet. When you're wielding a finesse weapon with which you're proficient, another creature hits you with a melee attack. You can use a reaction to add your efficiency bonus to your AC for that attack. Um, which I think I could do in this case, right? I thought it was a weapon uh, attack, but can. it's a melee attack. You can, uh, and your proficiency is what, is two or three? Is it three? Uh, three, so that would raise my armor class to 23. Oh, oh that bastard. <laughs> so I'm sort of like frantically sm uh, smacking right. away these Fair enough. Heads with the flat of my sword going like, ah, get away! By like, the way, Brett, you have plus two short swords. They're magical. Yes. Any yeah. so. Yeah, he's ignoring. Yeah. I was thinking about would the snake bites be considered be magical? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking he's a sort of a magical. He's a monstrosity. Some yeah. Kind of, well, the other thing is I wouldn't count the minus three damage reduction because I they're not really weapons. They're like a natural attack. So mm -hmm. I assume Does it that's say like from weapon attacks. That's what I was trying to figure out. So the heavy armor master, which reduces the damage, says from non magical weapons. So non I assume okay, the snakes wouldn't yeah. apply. That but fair, the defensive that makes sense. duelist is plus three to melee attacks, which I think would ac account for the snakes. Yeah. So that's fine. <laughs> so, so you so you essentially so here's what okay. I'll describe the the, the the camera zooms in to this m melee because you stab him profusely. Blood is squirting everywhere. It's splurring all over your armor and your shield. He s slams a against your shield with, with Iron Fang. It doesn't do anything. The, the pick just scrapes off your shield harmlessly. His snake... It look, it's just about to snap on your jaw, and at the last second, you like snap you with a snap of your wrist. Your, your the flat of your blade comes up and taps the snake out of the way, so the one that was going to catch your chin can't get purchased, and it just kind of like it's it just snaps on nothing, and you hear as it's like angrily um, pulling back, and he moved. That's the end of his turn. So Kalen. It's back to you, my friend. What would you like to do? Uh, 
I are you muted? Mr. Kalen. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I was muted. <laughs> no worries. All right. So you're up, bud. What would you like All to right, do? All right. So, you know, as I, you know, steady myself against the wall, you know, I look and I see uh, Bosselon engaged with that fucking prick Medusa bitch fucker yep. who knocked me the fuck out. Yep. And I cast Dissonant Whispers. All right. Uh, so are you staying? Are you laying on the floor or are you going to use half your movement to stand? I'm going to use half my movement to stand. Okay. Very good. Steadying myself against the wall as I go. So basically, he has to make a wisdom save. Okay. Uh, this, oh, yeah, that's... We'll have to fix that. So, yeah, wisdom save uh, against... This is against Marlos? Marlos, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Caitlin's pissed. Yeah, I understand. I would be too. Uh, all right, so Marlos has a wisdom saving throw to make, and DC. Oh God, he fails. Ooh, yes. All right, so he takes some damage. Uh, that also has some other effects too. It does. It's like he only eleven damage, but he. I think he runs away. Hold on. Let me look it up, Greg. I'm pulling it up too. Yep. He has uh, to use his reaction to move his full movement away from away him. from yeah away from me oh, so basically towards reed that's gonna be very bad for him well he can run in the side room right or is he, he runs away from you mm -hmm. you will get an attack of opportunity as he runs away so all right you're within 30 feet damn it i keep forgetting this so you need to make another saving throw versus constitution uh, for for his gaze, he is then going to turn tail and move away. Uh, his speed is reduced by ten, so he can only move twenty feet. Nine, ten, fifteen, twenty. But that means that Boslan, you get to make an attack of opportunity. Oh no, you don't because you used your reaction to reduce the dam to. Uh... Kalen doesn't have to look at him; he just has to say it. Malros just has to hear him. He doesn't actually have to look at him to do that. To do the sonic whispers. Okay, so is so Kalen is averting his eyes. He can. He just says, "You whisper a discordant whisper, a uh, discordant melody that only one creature of your choice within range can hear." Sure. So you don't actually have to look at it. Very true. Very true. Very true. So, do you want to cast your eyes down and away from him to avoid the saving throw? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, but sadly. He, he didn't get the opportunity attack from Bosslon because Bosslon already used his reaction to make sure the snakes didn't hit him. Yeah, I'm still bobbing and weaving. Exactly. All right, so that was... A, now, did you stand up? I You probably answered I did, that. and okay. so... So you have 15 um, feet but, left if you want to use it. No, I'm just going to stay where I am. But the last thing I'm going to do is I am going to give um, Bosslon... Uh, let me just check make sure I have... I think you used your last one because you guys haven't taken a short rest yet. I, I did. I did use my last one. But Damn you it. could use a bonus action to heal yourself if you want to. Uh, you're right. I, no, I can't. I can't. You're out of spells? I am completely out of spells, I think, right now. Yep. That doesn't seem right. No, dude. I, Dude, we have not rested. I've used, like... All I can can I'm I'm out, dude. I all I have are, are cantrips like that. That's why I waited to heal him oh. till the next round. <laughs> I thought you had. Oh, that's because I don't have very many left. Okay, uh, uh, no one has said that yet, Farron. That's why I'm kind of you know it's like, Kalen was the first one to sort of figure it out. He did yeah. look away, so I'm that one. I'm giving to him for sure. So if you know if Kalen wants to choose to shout that out at this moment, <laughs> well, I mean we've all kind of had that. Hold on, I, snaky I, look though, haven't we? Like yeah, all the of three of you have. Farron, Farron hasn't, so if you guys want to call it out to Farron, don't look at it. I've been but, shooting him, so it hasn't been affecting me. So it's kind of like if you're all like, yeah, you have to been... avert your gaze up close, and yeah. I'm like, I'm fine up, you know, at a distance. What yeah. I think, oh, if I just get some distance, I can then look at him. That's what sure. I was getting at. Yeah, sure. I can't. I can't cast another spell though, can I? Uh, only if it's a cantrip. cantrip. Oh yeah, perfect. All right, well then I'm gonna cast another one. I'm gonna cast uh, vicious if a mockery. If it's a bonus that's, action. Yeah, it's my bonus action. Um, is, but vicious mockery is not a bonus action. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, then I can't. Then I'm done. That's it. I can't do shit. All right. All right. 
so, uh, Farron, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Uh, right. At the beginning of your turn, they did not. No one has said to, to avert your gaze. So well, I don't want him close to me anyway. So it's like he starts running towards me. Oh crap! But at the beginning of your turn, you have to make the Constitution save. It's almost oh, four twenty. Let's get stoned. <laughs> oh dear me! I run to there. Yeah, but you need to. It make is the, the National Cannabis Festival. He uh, wants you to oh, make it anyway. Right All right, right here. And it's within thirty feet, so even moving to there isn't far enough away. In case anybody wants to come. Boom! So with a critical 26, Farron... Well, yeah, so you just, like, you saw him moving towards you, and at, before he even made it down the hallway, you kind of turn tail and, and back away. So his gaze doesn't... And Marlos is actually almost looking over his shoulder at Kaylin because of the, the voices in his head right now, so he's distracted. You easily, you easily resist. No, I can't. All right, so, yeah, I just... I will just go there. Okay, super. Um, are you gonna shoot some ar arrows at him, or can I shoot him from there? Uh, I would say he has a little bit of cover. If you move back any further from where you're at, there's no penalties. Right, I'll just shoot him from here then. Um, so I and have to move more gaze, after, or... You can move more mm -hmm. after you shoot too. You know what I mean? So if you want to like take your shot from there and then do another 15 feet of, or even 20. Yeah, feet yeah, 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 yeah. Um. So that comes that saving throw means that I don't have to hurt my gaze. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah, you're fine. Okay, sweet. Okay. Cool. No. Oh well. It sucks that I don't get sneak attack, but. Yeah. If you wanna, so moving forward, you've all realized that he's doing this. So from here on, if you wanna avert your gaze, just at the beginning of your turn, just say, yeah. "I'm gonna avert my gaze." What it means is, if you're making attacks on him, they're gonna have disadvantage. That's yeah. All right, so the 17 is a hit, uh, not a very, it's a grazing hit, kind of like slices past one of his arms and sticks yeah. into the wall. And uh, and then the second one just clanks off the ding, 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 and bounces down the hallway. Uh, he does take a little bit of damage from that, but not what you had hoped. All right, so that's action, bonus action. Yep. Uh, bonus action is to quicken uh, chromatic orbit level two. Nice. Chromatic orbit up. Spend. How many sorcery points? Oh, you used a spell slot. That's right. You yep. used a spell slot burn, to gain something. I burned a second level before. Yeah, I remember that. Thank you for tracking so, it. Chromatic orbit level two. Oh, yeah. That'll what? hit. But again... Unfortunately, no the damage. Three ones. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that's oh, so crap. That's <laughs> so bad. I guess that's counterpoint to, to uh, Boss Lon's 320s. <laughs> yeah. It's and that's why we happened. call it 1 in 20 D&D, &D, people. Uh, oh. So uh, here yeah. we go. So. Here on a 2. That's just the shittest shit. Though. That is the worst roll you could get. That's so horrible. What damage no, was not... that, by the way? Um. Uh, I just go thunder. Beautiful. All right. So this, th you see his flesh like ripple as this sphere pa like slams into his chest. But it again, it doesn't do the effect, or it doesn't have the effect you hoped it had. Two glancing blows. So you can finish your movement if you want now. This guy is a son of a bitch. He sure is. Um, so I'm 10, I have oh. 24. What's the second worst? That was the second worst. I got a 1, a 1, and a 1, 1, 1, 2. Uh, the worst would have been 1, two. 1, 1, oh, 1. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yes, I missed that. All right, so you zoom back there with your extra movement as your thief thief, thief rogue rogue stuff. All right, so that's Farron's turn. The Black Earth... Uh, guard seeing Marlos being molested and accosted is going to push forward and uh, attempt to make an attack at Bosselon. This is going to be funny. <laughs> uh, so 
Yep. That's a big miss. So he you, comes you forward. You want some of this bitch? Yeah, right. He comes forward. You're not you're not even facing him. He's facing Marlos. He comes up and you he, you feel and hear this clang off the back of your armor. And kind of look over your shoulder at this guy like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> oh. I'm so tempted to do the like stick my short sword over my shoulder and put him in the yeah, eye. But... Poke him in the face, yeah. For real. Alright, so that's uh that's one, two, three. Uh, he's then going to shift around and try to, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So he's going to scoot over there so that this dude can get up and try to molest you with advantage. All right, so an attack with advantage. He, sp he sl slides his scimitar out of its sheath, and that's not supposed to roll to me. That was supposed to roll to all. Um... That is a hit, 21 to hit, but I only rolled one, so I'm going to roll one more time to see if it's better. No. Okay, so a 21 hits your armor class. He slashes you across the neck for the back of the neck, somehow finding a, a, a hole in your defense for uh, six slashing damage. Reduce that to three. Okay, so and I uh, sort of bend my shoulder to take the worst of the blade, but still good, I guess, crushing. Yep, definitely. Okay. All right, so that's the monk. Last but not He's least. still in the water. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. I should have moved him forward. All right, so he is, again, he doesn't have any real actions, so all he can do is try to break out. Uh, see if he can pop. Hey, he finally does it. Somehow he manages, and now he is bloop, back out here. But that's it for him. So, uh, Kyra, back to the top of the order here. Uh, what do you want I'm do? just going to go move it back over him again. Back like, over him. Sorry, dude. You gotta go back in. <laughs> Just saying. So he's like, he's like, <gasps> and then it rolls right back over him. And he has to make another save, and he, <laughs> he fails again. <laughs> awesome. I love it. You have totally got him on lockdown. I freaking love it. Um, all right. So that's your action. You have movement and bonus action. Okay. Oh, why is okay? This is my child bugging me. Okay. Um, then I'm going to, ooh, let me see how much I have left on. How much do I have left? Um, Kaylin, you can get rid of your little skull and crossbones. Oh, like, yeah. yeah you're not bad dying, luck dude. for me. <laughs> 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 we'll say it. Okay. Um, so that was my action. Let's see. All right. I'm going to... I still have my second levels left. Third. Alright. Um, you know, actually, let me check. Let me check this one. I think that... I don't want to check the one on the computer. I don't know if I updated that. I'm going to check the one on here. Because I think it's a better... Give me one second. I just want to make sure. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um I have I don't have any second levels. That's what I that's what I thought. Okay. So I'm going to use one more first level. Okay. And just healing word Kaylin again. Okay, very good. Sweet. Thank you. It's my last first level. Alright. Here we go. Bam. Nice. Alright, seven more hit points for Kaylin. Nice. Excellent. And then I want to let me see. I think Yeah, I'll I'll stay there. I guess. All right, very good. I'm gonna no, I take that back. I think I'm gonna move up a bit because okay, just to give to if Caitlin wants to move back, since I have way more hit points than he does. First, I move back. I'm just gonna stand here, and then I can kind of peek around the hallways or whatever. All right, all, all right. right, super. So, uh, Boslan, you're surrounded currently by these two jerk jokers. Now the guy behind me, um. That dude is the um, pretty unarmored, right? He's just like a monk dude. Uh huh, exactly. I'm gonna concentrate on him. Now I've got 
three attacks. Okay. Can I do them one at a time and switch when he drops, or do I have to sort of declare at a time? Uh, you can split your attacks. So you just take it one at a time if you want. That's totally fine. Okay. Well, I, pretty much I'm going to like attack him till he drops, hopefully, and then turn and hit the other guy. Right. All right. So an 18 hits him. Uh, he takes 14 piercing. Big hit. Uh, you stab him right through the gut. He does not go down from the first hit. The second hit is enough to take him out. Uh, you you pull it out and you stick him. He, he's like leaning forward just a little bit to like hold his stomach. You pull it out and just stab it right through his throat. And he kind of splutters and like collapses to the floor. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to use my third attack due to the haste plus my bonus attack for killing him on the guy to yeah. myself. Yeah. Two more attacks. Oh my goodness. Another freaking crit. All right, so well, uh, actually, that's a crit because remember, I I get crit on nineteen or twenty because champion archetype. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'm, that's, that's why I'm more crit prone if I get a whole pile of attacks. Oh, that's and... true. That's true. All right, so so true. that's gonna be fourteen plus. I still don't think it's rolling. It's rolling six, not one d six. So can we go into your sheet and fix that because it should only take a second. Do you want me to do sure. it? Sure. I mean, it keeps saying it? rolling six equals six, but it seems odd. Right, that it's not rolling one d six. It's rolling six. It okay. should be one d six. So that's how why do it's I goofy. how do I do that? So you isn't that what we're supposed to be doing then? One pencil. Uh, oh, Next yeah. That's right, because that's giving you the max damage. So that right. is right. Because it is right. Thanks. It is max. right. Yeah. So either way, I'm doing d six plus. Yes, plus a die roll. Know. Thank you, Reed. You're absolutely. So it is looking out. It's just. All right. So you role. do sixteen damage from your critical hit uh that does not take him down your second attack uh, sk uh skids off of his stone armor so you like you go to poke him in another soft spot but this time it catches st some of the stone plate and there's this kind of like you know as it scrapes past um harmlessly so he is still still standing yeah i whisper three dead already and even Marlos is running how smart are you bud uh, from the look in his eyes you gather that he's pretty uh, beyond reason <laughs> not, not insane per se but absolutely beyond reason well can't say we didn't try yep, All right. that's right absolutely uh, I will impale his body upon the caltrops and then trample well, on him. In fact, I would say, but at this point, one of the things you all have pretty much noticed is that not all, but a good number of these cultists, especially the lower level cultists, seem to be um, like ridiculously fanatical. Now, if you're you, if you want to try to intimidate him, I will definitely let you do that and make a roll. Because speaking is a free action. Technically, that intimidation should be like a real action, but that was pretty intense. So, if yeah, you want to do that, can't yeah. hurt. All right. So yeah, with an eight, he's yeah, he is just as steely-eyed as you are. Uh, he's high. Um, I know it. It's on meth. All right. So that's his turn. Uh, the ah, let's see, let's see. All right. So back to Marlos now. Um, so I need a second to think about what he's going to do. Uh, let's see. He is, he is, uh, what is he going to do? <sighs> Give me a moment to check something. All right, so he's going to, I think he's, okay, so he, he realizes he ran away and doesn't really understand why he ran away. Uh, doesn't see uh, Farron, who's not currently hidden, but is just behind the column. So he doesn't, he's not going to bother with you. Uh, so he's going to turn back around and 10, 15, 20, just barely, just barely barely has enough movement to get up here and uh, attempt to make a few attacks at Boslon again. So I uh, did the hair first this time, which misses. But want the, some of this? The war pick is going to hit. 
you uh, that'll hit. You see it coming, but you can't get your shield up in time. Uh, you take a massive. Uh, Holy shit! A, you only take four damage from the pi the pi like. Here's what happens. Check this out. So his this time his snake hair lashes out at you first. You kind of like you just. You almost dodge out of the way of that. And then you see the war pick coming down. You lift it up. But it doesn't you don't get it all the way up in time. And what happens is it catches the war pick catches on the top of your shield. The the point of the pick pierces into your chest, into your like uh, just above the collar of your breastplate. It it doesn't really do a lot of damage. It hurts a little bit. It like stings and sticks into you. So there's a little drop of blood. But at the moment it pierces through your skin, there's this clap of thunder. And the dam and, and your whole skull and chest are shaken with thunder and you take an extra eight thunder damage. So a total of twelve points of damage to Boslon. Uh, that's his movement and action. He doesn't have a bonus action. Uh, so, that's all for this dude, uh, and let's see. All right, so that's it for Marlos, and it's now going to be Colin, Caleb's turn. What would you like to do? I will look at that later. Yeah, exactly, like the Thor <laughs> Captain America and Thor, something like that. <laughs> well played. All right, Kaylin, if I, I can't, you're probably muted again, because I can't hear you. I'm here, sorry. It's okay. Alrighty, so I have no spells. I have no more music. You have I... contents, and you have your your loot. So. Oh, you're right. I forgot about my loot. Well, you know what? If I move, if I move here, that's like where the caltrops are. I mean, I'm I'm hoping I'm smart enough to not step on them, or do I have to? Uh, you can move diagonally to the space below you, so you don't even have to step on them. No, but I want to attack this guy in this little thing. In the watery sphere? Yeah. Can I do that? Um. Hmm. You can move slowly enough to move through it without having to take it. It's, like, difficult terrain. So, yeah. You well, I mean, he's just kind of floating around anyways. He's not, like, really in that back corner. Yeah, he's, he's totally a non-threat <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> So how long is he like that? Till I say. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, all right. You know what? I was dead once. I'm just gonna go there. down and, and try and help Bosselon. He saves or <laughs> he just well, you stays. have you can throw a spell. You can use your cantrips. You, you yeah, I'm not gonna roll. do that. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go all right in. I'm right. gonna go right in. That's the way you do Fuck it. it. I know. Only, it's the only way to roll, dude. You know how you know how I am. <laughs> May uh, not so be now, the smartest, but... now, okay, you know this. So are you gonna avert your gaze? So if I avert my gaze, I can't. I mean, how does that affect my you get attacks? Disadvantage I mean, on your attacks. No, fuck it. I'm just gonna look at him, and I have to. I'll run that risk. All right. So Constitution saving throw. Uh, if you fail this, I'm gonna strangle you through the computer <laughs> somehow. All right. So you do not succeed. Ugh. So here's what starts to happen. So, luckily, you didn't sa fail by five or more. Uh. You so you're 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 you you're moving. You look at him with determination. Step, step, step. You start moving, and then all of a sudden it's like, step, step. Like you're moving through molasses. You are starting to feel your muscles tense and tighten and become petrified. Um, you're restrained, so you can attack, but. Uh, well, technically, it happens at the beginning of the turn, so you can't even move forward. Um, hmm. So, da, 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 da. well, I mean, I would have, I wouldn't have looked at him until I was right up in front of him. You know what I mean? Like I would have kept my head down. Yeah. All right. So that's cool. So you, so you keep your head down. You step up. You look at him. You, you pull back with your sword, ready to make right. a slash. Exactly. And you kind of, you, you can't help but look. His gaze is so incredibly demonic and nasty just like powerful to gate to behold I mean, he's pretty damn charismatic which is terrifying that that's what is terrifying it's like he's actually very handsome even though he's grotesque at the same time and, so what and you're you saying pull the sword back and all of a sudden you're like 
like you don't have the strength, but you can make an attack, but it's with disadvantage. Fuck, with after all that. Jesus. All right. Well, here we go. Sorry. No, that's all right. Two attacks, disadvantage. All right. So 14. That's actually... Um, you, you, you slice across, but it's like it, it slides across the scales of his snake, like lower half, and it it doesn't quite bite into the flesh. Like you leave a little mark, but it doesn't really do any damage. So, do you want to make a second attack with your offhand? Oh, well, no, I get three attacks. Oh, that's true. Okay, so you slice back with your second attack. It What should have been a critical hit, because you're moving a little more slowly than normal, Marlos is able to turn his body ever so slightly. Um, but it is still a soft crit, so you do 10 points of damage with that, um, which he doesn't like. Uh, and your third attack, unfortunately, now your offhand is just like... It's like it like comes up and just like meets his body. There's no strength behind it because your your muscles are tense. I'm turning to stone. You're literally turning to stone. So yeah, you're feeling it. Uh, Marlos is beaten, bloodied. He he is looking really really horrible right now. He's he says he says after your slice, he says, curse you, curse you all, and that's it. So. All right, anything else, Kaylin? I can't do another thing. All right. Farron. Very Ooh. funny. <laughs> yeah, now's not uh, time. To... Michelle, this was the, the fight you said it was probably going to be over another five or ten minutes. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Getting a little wine. Right. Um, well, if he didn't that? have the, uh, the legendary resistances, it would have made a big difference. Uh, 30 feet to that. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know he had legendary resistances. Yeah, no you doubt. Just it and see where oh, well. No, he's getting a legendary um, ass kicked. But I'm moment. reading my my sphere. I think I might be able to get it over y'all. Is it 30 uh, feet? The hallways are... I think the hallways are 15 feet tall, Michelle. So, or, sorry, Kyra. So I'm not sure that you have enough space. No. Let me check. Um, do you need to be within 30 feet of him to have to do the thing? Yeah, you're, uh, so within, let's see. I'm within 30 feet. At the beginning yeah, it says, Yeah, so either take disadvantage feet. or make a con save. Alright. I'll make a con save, why not? Alright. Let's see what happens. Oh, another yeah, crit. another crit. You guys are just, like, <laughs> killing it with the crits tonight. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Crits are one. Uh, lots one. of freaking twenties. So you again. So here. So in fact, because Marlos is facing the other direction, he's essentially he's not even aware you're there. <laughs> so I'm you, just like eh, snakes. Right. Okay, so like one of the snakes looks drink. back at you, but that's it. <laughs> what if they were spiders? Uh, oh yeah, no, no, I would care. <laughs> Uh, the um, ceilings are 15 feet high, so I don't know. You tell me if that's enough for you to get it over him. I'll, I don't know. I mean, it says I can hover at 10 feet up. Um, so, yeah, why not? You could probably do that. Um, I'm going to chromatic orb. You, you're a skilled spell crafter. No, I was going to just let you tell me if I could. If I couldn't, then I was going to do something else. But if I could, right. then... So this chromatic orb, uh, what kind of damage is it? Thunder again, or what are you using this time? Uh, this time I do a bit of lightning. Lightning. All right. So there's this crackle of from uh from Farron's hand, a, f an, a lightning crackling ball of lightning, about the size of a softball, gets hurled down the corridor, illuminating this blue eerie iridescent light on the corridor. Cracks him in the back and uh, sizzles him uh, quite substantially. Um. How do you want to do this, Reed? Oh. I'm sorry. Um. How do you want to do this, Farron? It's not fair. <laughs> to use. I should be using your character's name. Um, I reckon just blow a big hole straight through it. <laughs> There's something with the lightning. All right. So here's what happens. Um, just look down and be like, what's this big hole in me for? <laughs> so, this, this, so as I described, this ball of lightning goes hurtling down the corridor. It's a small ball of lightning, but it still is a ball of lightning. So there's this cre crackly, weird glow. It's going blue. as fast as lightning. It is, and um, and all of a sudden, Marlos like 
he arches back, you know, his arms wide, and he, he's like, Ugh! And a moment later, this this ball of energy uh, that's crackling lightning bursts out of his chest. Kalen has the thought of like, oh crap, I gotta dodge that. But he's slowed down, so he's like, in oh, nice. slow motion, you're just... You're just like, Kalen is just like turning to the side of it as if he's going to like do a, a Neo in the Matrix kind of deal. <laughs> but luckily, it just blows by within inches of his uh, face. So your hair now, Kalen, is kind of like statically charged. Singed. and No, it's not singed, but it's like, you know that static electricity kind of thing? So like, oh, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your I take out my fantasy and camera. Your, yeah, your beard and your, and your hair on that side of your face is like kind of sticking up on end and sticking out. Kyra, you just watch as it goes. And it it disperses into the watery sphere, and and you see the uh, the priest inside the sphere sort of jolt. It doesn't really do any damage to him, but he definitely felt it. <laughs> well done, Farron. Uh, so that's your action. <laughs> you don't want to do anything I'm, else? I'm I'm out of everything. Pretty All right. Much. But you can move up if you want. Uh, give fair. Give. I just uh, I just do the the arm pump. All right. Yeah. You want to use your roguey rogue stuff and uh, keep, uh no, I already moved thirty. Line. Yeah, but you can b cunning action, right? Oh no, you can't. Uh, I'm sorry. Second level, second level. Damn it, I keep forgetting that. All right, so that is Farron's turn. Well done. The Black Earth Guard. Oh, the Secret Stone Monk is dead. The Black Earth Guard uh, witnesses Marlos go down and, in a fit of rage, attempts to destroy this person in front of him he's taking it on as boss on his his ultimate challenge he feels if he can beat boss on he can uh he can take over the black earth <laughs> <laughs> some lowly guard <laughs> <laughs> um so are you gonna let that through or are you gonna block it use your reaction um, well, I'm gonna always try to block it. All right. Um, actually, that would still go through on a 23. Oh, you're right. It would. So you, yeah. So we'll say you got to take eight piercing. So this club clangs on the side of your head. You take five because you reduce the damage. Uh, you, your bell is rung a little bit, but you kind of like straighten your helmet out and, and growl at him or something. <laughs> um, that's about it for him. Uh, he's gonna go down in a ball of glory. All right. The, this pathetic priest. S still uh, stuck in a watery ball. Can he make it out? <laughs> useless. Uh, what's your DC? No, I 15. 15, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's just useless. Just quit, dude. Just quit. Yeah, no kidding. So this I poor pathetic priest is just watching in horror. His He's barely, you know, he's holding his breath and just wa floating around helplessly, trying to find a way to, like, get out of this damn thing. Uh, can't do it. He <laughs> just drowned. Uh, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, well, yeah, he just lets the. Yeah, exactly. Um, I give up. All right, Kyra. It's okay, your so, turn, so. Um, you tell me, is it possible or not? I mean, it's up to you. Because what if I'm going to do it, if I can do it, it'll land directly on top of the Black Earth Guard. Sure, why not? Um, uh, I, yeah, you move it up. How, what's the movement? How far can it move? Uh, 30. Oh, yeah, you can do that. So Five, it's like 10, 15, 10, 20. and See, then up, so, so and then down. As <laughs> as Bosselon and Kaylin feel the little bits of drips of water that come off of this sphere, just little drips, nothing major, you know, but there's a few droplets fall over your head. You kind of look, both look up at the same time as you see this priest come tumbling forward. <laughs> Go like, yeah, he's like arms and legs flailing. He's just like completely clueless, and it comes down on top of the Black Earth Guard. Now, the guard is a little bit stronger than the priest. He may have a better chance. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, 20 succeeds. So uh, so it comes down and washes on top of the Black Earth Guard. He basically gets pushed away from Bosslan. Now, since that's forced mute movement, it does not uh, get a uh, uh, attack of opportunity. But he does get pushed back uh, about two paces there. Uh, so y'all can poke at a Earth Guard. That's your action. <laughs> Swing it around. That's your action. Uh, 
the you do now have I, I, oh I gotta move the priest I'm sorry about that so the priest comes with it I'll put him here so he's easy to see uh, you have advantage if you want to attack the priest because uh, he's restrained uh, I would like uh, to do more than that on yeah, my turn your, yeah I was gonna say it's I wasn't I was just letting everybody know you can't. no so it's you cool. have a bonus action and movement if you like all right so I'm gonna just do this. 10, 15, 20. The door is still open, correct? The door is still Nobody. open. And actually, when you look in there, you see that Mirage has essentially gone back to the tables. It, apparently, he maybe dismissed those two because he heard all the commotion. Uh, he's gone back to the tables, um, Kyra, and you see him like... Like, all the potion bottles and things that you touched or moved or whatever, he's now, like, putting them back exactly where they were. <laughs> you, you, okay. You so get the sense he's a little bit neurotic. Like, he's kind of a perfectionist. And, like, everything's got to be in its place. And so that's what he's doing right now. Okay. So, um, 25. And I say, I say to him, hey, just let you know, you're the boss now. But I wouldn't advise you to try to, uh, you know, help out the rest of your buddies because they decided to come attack us. And if you want to live, just go back to doing what you're doing. Or at least I won't hurt you at all. I promise. And I use my other last five to go back this way. Okay. So he uh, he kind of looks at you. Is it, he In response, he just kind of like, his eyes open a little bit. Like he's surprised, but... Um... Not quite shock, more like, um, like, like, oh, interesting, kind of. Uh, he says, but Marlos has fallen then. And then he looks back to what he's doing, and that's it. Yep. <laughs> and you walk out of the Hey, room. I said I wasn't going to attack him, but. Uh, yeah. All right, Boslan, you want to try to put this guy out of our misery? <laughs> yeah, you know, Kyra, I really think the guy in the room there needs a bath. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm making my way out. So, um, so oh, sure, no problem. But right. you had an advantage I, against this guy in the swimming. All right, pool. the sphere is halfway down now, right? It's down to five. Um, yes, I'm sorry. Okay, no worries. Um, uh, so, so Boslan, there's now this globule of water in front of you. You don't really see any way to get through it, but there is this helpless priest just <laughs> floating okay, around so in front of you. In there. Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, you gotta check one thing real quick to see if. He's got any chance of? He might have one chance. Of now is he armored? So. Uh, he has some kind of a mantle on. It's kind of a stone mantle. You've seen some of these guys already. Uh, the Black Earth priests. They. But have, it's not like the full-on plate mail type thing. It looks. It's pretty darn sturdy. It's more like uh, what do they call it? Like banded mail or something like that. Uh, something. But like do that. I have like advantage or something? Because you have advantage on the attacks because he's restrained. Oh, in that case, because I've been itched to do this, I'm going to take my time, I'm going to sheed the short sword, pull out the great axe. And I'm going to, like, hew at him like I'm chopping wood, because <laughs> I'm going to use oh, my um, great weapon master uh, feat, which um, right. gives me the minus five to the attack, but plus ten to the damage yeah, if I hit. Yeah, that's good. I love it. He's... He's going to try to... Oh, God, and it's a critical. So he... he tr <laughs> and it's I love verbal, that I so he can't even crit on a 19. All right, so you... Um, uh, what did you roll there? Five. Okay, so you Well, it would actually be a 21 because I'm at a minus five to hit. Right, oh, so no crit. So it's not a crit. So it's not a crit. Uh, so uh, you do... That's right, five plus four... <laughs> Wait, did I, why does it say minus two plus two? That's weird. Minus two bonus. That seems strange because I've got d12 plus four written down. Uh huh. What? Uh, uh, what well, the minus what? two plus two, whatever that is, is balancing it out. So, yeah, nine is correct, and then I do an extra ten from the um, uh, mighty chop or whatever oh, it is. Oh, the minus two plus two is for your because you have the magic sword. No, that doesn't seem right. That something's not right about that. We'll look at it. I'll look at it later. But what I want to figure out though is that I think you. I thought you're at you're at seventh level, guys, right? Or what? Six, seven. Yes. Yeah. So seven. you have a plus three for your proficiency. Something's not right there. Still. Yeah. That's weird. You should have a plus three bonus for your proficiency. So I don't know why. The and does that go to damage or is that to to hit? 
Yeah, it says. Oh, you both. damn it! Uh, all right, I'm getting yeah. confused. All right, so wait. Both. Yeah, because I've got plus seven to hit, which should be my strength of four and proficiency bonus of three. Mm -hmm. I see, but and your strength of four, I see. I don't know what that it's plus two minus two is. D twelve plus one of the damage. All right, so so you and do nine have... damage slashing. Yeah. Uh, that plus the ten for my plus mighty chop. Ten, so nineteen. Damage. And I get a second right. attack with my. Uh, actually, with... well, I get three, don't I? Because I'm still hasted. That's enough. Yeah, yes. you do get three. That's it's... not enough. Your second attack is enough. Uh, so how do you want to do this for the priest? Well, I mean, dead is dead, right? Yep. I mean, you know, but you want to get a little colorful for the for the camera. I'll just reach in and just like open his mouth. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm thinking like a little bit of an anime type thing, you know. I sheath my shorts, <laughs> spit my hands, pull out the axe, this big evil grin. I do this like huge leap in the air and just bring it down overhead two handed. <laughs> I love it. And then the sickest thing mm -hmm. is that all of the blood starts swirling around in this orb. So now this bluish. <laughs> you know, beautiful orb is no purple. longer blue. It's, yeah, it's kind of like this ugly purple red. <laughs> there's just, there's you know, just blood floating around in there. Y'all could always go back through the door and go, but since that's what y'all want to do anyways, attack the, there we go. the bad guy. All right. So I plan on leaving alone. All right. So, um, yeah, so that's boss. All right. So that's two attacks. You have one more attack, but I don't know. I guess if you want, you could try to push through the sphere. You just have to make it strength. No, I, I was just going to keep hewing on this guy until there's, like, severed limbs rotating around that sphere. <laughs> oh, gnarly. All right, so he's hacked to pieces. So uh, I, I did uh, 19 plus 26 plus uh, 23. Yeah, he's, he's hosed. Uh, I'm getting a little maniacal after the Marlis fight goes on here. Dead. He just closed his eyes. Priest like, is dead. Pulled out the battle axe. All right, Kaylin, back to you. You watch as, you watch as Boslan just butchers this priest, I and mean, it's it's ugly. It, you know that there would be sprays of blood everywhere if it, if he wasn't inside the sphere. <laughs> so the only guy that's still alive is the dude that's in that room doing his smithing shit, and then this guy, um, me, yeah. Right there, yeah. So is that speed? Is that purple sphere? I can I go through that, or should I not? You, you should there? not go through that, but okay. you can fire something through there because you're a caster. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll, 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 yeah. Basically, all I can do now is um, I'm just gonna. If you want to little... move through it, it's a strength saving throw to move through it. And no, no, no. We're not. Up we're, not we're not. Oh, we're not. We're not. We're not even gonna risk it. So I'm just gonna do a little vicious mockery. All right. You need that wisdom save. What's that? You need to have to have a shower afterwards. Cause it's probably. Yeah, it's all bloody and gnarly right now. Oh, so. nasty. It's probably got, uh, like, poo in it as well, because you know, he died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pee and poo, yeah. There's, you see poo little, in your Well, that's stuck. In, luckily, that's stuck inside his robe still, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but his robes are in water. So now I know. And Marlos is in the sphere, too. So a bit of diarrhea. There's even more blood. Uh, so he's got to make a wisdom save. Yeah, it's full of snakes. A seventeen. He succeeds. So you try to, you try to say something to him, and it's apparently his stone helmet just blocks it out. He doesn't seem to be affected. Uh, movement, bonus action. No, yeah, that's it. All right, Farron, you got a dude in front of you. Currently, he's looking your way. Sees that he can't get to the others. Um. Well, I would just be like, oh well. I guess you get the same thing that you, that your boss got. <laughs> Another chromatic Ooh. orb. Those. That's gonna miss. Um, I'm gonna use my last luck. To all right. right. Really. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you 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 like you're about to throw it. You don't. You see him kind of like dodging to the side or something. Like he he's like trying to be shifty or something. You're like, wait a minute, you, and you still throw it at him, and it hits him, but it just disperses on his armor and does nothing. And I just look at him and say, "You are very lucky that I am very tired and need a rest because <laughs> that would." Like, 
And then I'm like, oh, by the way, oh, because I'm still like, mm-hmm. and then I just run away. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> uh, well, shit. Now it's his turn. Uh, he is not going to try to get through the water. He felt that, so he's going to he's gonna chase after you, I guess. Right, that's fine. Do, 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 do. He's just going to double move and get right up in your face. Because that's all he can do. Uh, that's that's angry Black Earth Guard. We should give right, him a name. I think his name is Daryl. Dago time. Uh, so I'm Kyra, gonna... back up to Lone you. Lone Survivor. All right, I'm going to come this yeah, way. Lone Survivor, Two. there you go. Two... Three. I'll go here and say, um, I'll kind of whisper, I told him I wasn't going to kill him. I wasn't going to kill him. <laughs> and then I move this with all its lovely contents. One, two, three, four. You can move it diagonally. It's fine. Just okay. Five. Um, I'll move up some more. Let's see. One, two, one three. Way. Right, Four, six. five, six. Yeah. All right, and then your sphere can move one more too. There. Oh, where did you go? I lost you. Who and then you? who are you under, Kyra? Huh? I lost track of your token. Oh, uh, Marlos. There you go. All right, I put. You're standing put over the... the body of Marlos. It is okay. Um, I should be doing this when you're crawling over dead bodies. It is like difficult. <laughs> No, I'm like, okay, well, if if that's if that's it, then I'll just stay here then. Plus, have to, I, well, it's it's also going through. through your party. It takes an extra space to get through your party. Yeah, so that's why I landed on Marlos, but if I can't do that, then uh, No, that's fine. You can get up to Marlos. That's fine. Okay. Um all right, so bonus action. And I, I just say you can, y'all can go take care of the other guy. I will, we'll deal with the, if you want, unless you just want to. That's up to you. And that's all I say. All I right. don't really have anything that I want to do. All right, boss Lon, would you like to do anything? Or what would you like to do? I you know what? Actually, I take that back. Oh. I apologize. Okay, sure, sure. You know what? Um, just because, why not? I'll use my last. I think I have. I got, I have, I have, no, 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 I take it back. I'll, I'll save it. I have one more third level <laughs> just in case something crazy happens. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, sorry, Kaylin. I'm going to say, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all I got. I'm tired. <laughs> We've been killing things. All right, Bosslon, what you going to do? Um, Bosslon's starting to get on the edge of PTSD. Um, flashbacks from when he was doing his gladiator stuff with all the like craziness and the haste spell going on. So he's borderline nuts. Um, he's going to drop the axe, pull out the crowbar, and with a mighty scream, haul top speed towards the sky down south. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can run another six, right? Yeah. Um, um, two, three, so you can either five. try to blast through the sphere or you can like sneak around it. Can I go diagonally or um, yeah. like down to here? Yeah, I'll let you do it, but it'll take you an extra space. So, okay. one, two, one, three. Well, actually, let's see if I go through four, the sphere. Five, one, six, two, three, four. You can get to like here, one, let's say. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I actually could get through there. Do I need to make a check or I just lose yeah, the movement going you through just, there? Yeah, you just lose a little bit of movement. You can okay. still make it up there. That's so, good. I can't attack him, but I'm screaming. <laughs> I, with, with the like crowbar. The crowbar is like I'm charging in. <laughs> I'm gonna pry you out of that damn armor. Yeah, yeah Kyra, Kyra just times. says, uh, Kalen, do you want me to join you in the other room? Oh, wait a minute. I'm hasted. <laughs> what does that do to my movement? Oh, shit. You get, that's right. You you have. You so get you're there. You can make your attack. You double is it, your movement. You can attack. Normal double? Okay, so yeah. I'm freaking so like. Triple double. Just on meth and insane just go all and south <laughs> you see dust as he's like screaming yeah so almost this supernatural that, fast i'm gonna use the freaking crowbar because i haven't used the freaking cro- crowbar I, I freaking so all right well that's an improvised weapon uh, uh i thought we said it counts as a yeah, club ex- oh that's fair that's fair yeah yeah that's what fair. i've got all right so you you cracking them unfortunately you you well all right i'm gonna give you this if you move up one spare square to here 
you are, uh, you'll have advantage. So. I guess I could have, right? Yeah, you I could have gone up rather than over. And you guys know tactics well enough to give yourselves the benefit. Yeah. Of. So all three. Oh no, the first two hit, the third one misses. Okay. Uh, I mean, so it's a freaking crowbar. I'm not but sure. I like wing him twice hard in the back of the so head or whatever 15? it is with this. Oh, so he's you cl like clang clang chips go, stone chips go flying everywhere. It's actually it's not even clang because his his armor is stone. So it's more like <laughs> and like stone chips go flying. But he's actually still standing. His bell is rung sufficiently. He kind of looks a little dazed and kind of tries to shake the sleep out of his head. Um, but that's it. Uh, bonus action. You took... No, you didn't take a bonus action. Technically, uh -oh. you could pull your short sword and stab with your short sword in your offering. <laughs> How would I use... No, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, and let's see, none of these. That 25 was an 18 out of 19, so or no. Shove them with a shield. Um, is... Uh... Well, Farron's not looking too injured there, so I'll probably have just done the standard attack. I don't think I was going to do All right. so, too much here. I'm, I'm just going to, like, you know, freaking wail on him as hard as I can with the uh, crowbar till I yeah. lose my rage. I, I know there's times you just need to embrace the rage to get through the fight. Yep. All right, Kalen, back to you, sir. What would you like to do? I am going to move right here and then cast Vicious Mockery against <laughs> all right, this guy. That's all, I got. That's all I really got. Yeah. He doesn't seem so wise, so this might be what he needed. Oh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and it's a max damage roll for you of eight, which, ha nice. okay, how do you want to do this, Kalen? <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly what you needed to take this fool down. He had eight hit points left. Wow. That would have been cool if he got so, smashed. So That's tell me, cool Kalen, what what exactly do you say to this guy? I mean, dude, I am so. I mean, I mean Kalen is so just he's beat words. to shit. He's fucking pissed off. He just starts cussing him out in like dra draconic, orcish, dwarvish. <laughs> he is he is slinging every known insult he knows in every language he knows at this fucking son of a bitch because he's so pissed that his hair got fucked up during this battle. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you got It's all like this. Like, say <laughs> exactly. <laughs> awesome. All right. So huffing a little bit, puffing a little bit. You kind of look left, right, back, forth. You realize <sighs> there's no more threats for the moment. Wow. Things calm, and you can collect your thoughts. Other than the massive hammering you hear coming from the other side of the sphere. <laughs> right. <laughs> wah, wah. Yeah. <laughs> crack, crack. <laughs> uh, um, you, the only thing you do here, you do here, is um, the distant re uh, echoing. Ting, 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 ting. Every so often, that's coming from the forge. Um. Kyra wants to, like, if I come down here seeing uh, Basilon going crazy with his, like, mm -hmm. I'm going to put the spear right on top of him. Like, <laughs> like, like, if I put some water, maybe it'll, like, shock him out of his, like, <sighs> You're going to give Basilon a bath. I love it. All right, so Basilon, you got to make a strength saving throw. <laughs> I put it right on top of him. Fantastic. Like, hey! Stop it! <laughs> Yeah, uh, boss on just uh, uh, let's see. Of course, uh, strength, strength saving throw. I know strength saving throw, right? What? Tough for you. <laughs> You're still like no. <laughs> so everyone else. So here's what's happened. Every other time that the this sphere has gone over one of the one of these opponents, anyone, right? The, the whoever it went over has been like for at least for a second they've been like. They're like trying to deal with the the water moving their body. Baslan is a fucking statue. <laughs> he doesn't even move. His feet are like totally rooted to the ground. But he's stare he's just like he's just like glowering with this crowbar and his shield towering over this fool on the ground. And and I feel I feel jaded. But he can't so breathe then, now, so <laughs> So then I move it over Farron just because. <laughs> Really? <laughs> <That's my three. laughs> down the down the two. Want to get him? <laughs> what I do? I will chase him around. I'll chase him around I until I get him. Hope somebody has pressed the digitation. 
I do, but I don't, I don't want to discuss it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this cause, and I start smiling because right, I'm having fun now. Strength safe. Yes, please, Farron. Oh, you're caught up in the water. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. The <laughs> only thing I'm there. not good at. <laughs> I go over there, and I'm all like looking in the water, mm. and I say, "I'm like just holding my nose." Like eyes closed, man. <laughs> you have your like yeah. arms crossed with one of your <laughs> one hand holding your nose. I say something to him in under common that I'm gonna type privately and I want you to answer publicly. Fair enough? Oh Fair enough, Reed? I'll set up some macros so that you guys can talk to each other in, in <laughs> No, I, I I wanna I wanna hear what he has to say public. I'm gonna sure. say I'm gonna say something like say it loud. Sure. I can't talk I'm underwater. I'm not being. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm. You're gonna have to like motion, lip it before you drown. Something. All right. She sends something. Says something to you in undercom, and no, the other two don't understand. You can barely make out what she says. In fact, I almost want to give you a perception check. Yeah, make a perception check. See if you can you can determine what she's saying to you. Who me? Yes. Please, oh, okay. Baron. Do you hear the words, or is it a mumbled, jumbled? Oh, yeah. yes, you, you do know exactly what you <laughs> say. <laughs> I say it in under common. Um, still with my eyes closed and my mouth and my everything yeah. shut, yeah. I just kind of wiggle. I like pull out some stuff out of my, you know, and I wiggle my hand and um. I use uh, my illusion it. to make a sound outside. Oh, and isn't it, that, says, uh, it doesn't oh, have cool a verbal beans. component? No, semantic and material. Oh, nice. Cool. All right. Yeah, so I was, you was going to make Does and give me the thing component that pouch? requires verbal. Does no, I've got um, my necklace. Oh, that's right. Okay, thank you. Good. Uh, so, yeah, I just kind of wiggle my hands and See? you hear. It just says, um, say you love me and come in really loud. <laughs> I let it go. Funny. And I laugh. Funny, funny. <laughs> I, I let awesome. you out. All right. And I so just it with that, that was... <laughs> everyone hears. Everyone hears this in Farron's voice, and then and then Ky Kyra chuckles, and then poosh, the water just dissipates across the floor. And now, pretty much everyone. I guess no. Okay. So Kyra looks pristine. <laughs> everyone yeah, else. That's is, true. I haven't done so clean wet. my shit. <laughs> is everyone else is either soaking wet or like statically, you know, like bloody, t just tore up. Kyra's standing there like, you guys look terrible. Or something. And then I basically just run my hands through my hair and I look great. Cool. Love it. Yep. <laughs> you watch this fair, fair and very cool and calm. Just and and it, with a few quick gestures, all of the nastiness is removed from all of his armor, clothing, etc. He looks like he just got out of the shower and got out of the spa. That was disgusting. I'm like, you're welcome. It was fun. Well, see, I think, I the thing think, was, I, I tried to do it to Bastion because he was like going my crazy. Cheek. I think an arm <laughs> touched me. Well, you can save it for dinner or something. Then a snack on. No, no, no. Well, see, I try, I try to like snap past a lot of it, but he was like not having it, so I had to like do something else. Yeah, he's wet. Oh, he's still fired up. Trust me, he's going to charge in that room to our north as soon as it's his turn. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I was kind of taking us out of initiative. So if you want to charge in there, there is one more round on the sphere. That was. I thought we were just out of initiative. Oh, I, I'm not. Li him, I will let the sphere go. Because I told the yeah. guy that I wasn't going to attack him. When well, I get with, in there, I'm just looting the room. I'm not well, even going to worry him anyway. Um, so, <laughs> so we'll go. I'm, so wind it back a little bit. So the the sphere, Kairos moves the sphere over you, thinking things are fine. If you want to, as soon as it passes over you, you can bolt back to the other. Yeah. Room. So twelve would get me here. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to attack him directly, but I'm going to sprint in the room, just sort of like embracing the madman approach, okay. and just start screaming, "Get out! Get out! You guys are." Fired. Earth cold is dead. I'm gonna start like frantically bashing the shit out of everything with the crowbar. Yeah, I wanted that stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. so. All right, I need you. To, okay, I need you to make an intimidation roll. Yeah, I'm gonna like freaking get in his face, and I mean, I'm probably 
first I'm wet, but I'm probably like covered with a splatter and all this I stuff. I was thinking I want to give you advantage sticky, on that. That's sticky, kinda... bloody stuff. Oh, well, all right. Give me, give me an intimidation roll. I mean, I've got a bent crowbar amongst other stuff I'm carrying. <laughs> Not um, particularly intimidating. This dude is like cool as a cucumber. He, he seems like he's irritated. Mm. Um, uh, <laughs> he basically looks at you and says, "Please stop doing that." Is anyone else coming in to back me up? I'm leaving. Uh, on our, I mean, I'm kind of far. I'll get there eventually, but I said I wasn't going to kill him, so I'm just going to loot his stuff. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm taking potion. All right, so, I'm like right here at the back. All yeah. right, so here's I'm what like we're a cat do. grooming. And just, yeah. Since you all want to press the attack, totally cool with me. Let me um, let me bring us back into initiative. Uh, and yeah, I wasn't going to attack him, you know, but I'll stop bashing stuff and then like real... Like, just, you know, sort of like intimidating again, just say, you guys are done. This place is evil. We are shutting it down. Run now, or you will face your death here. Because that's what Caleb wanted anyway. So, dude is toast. Uh, <clears throat> and we have, like, no spells. <laughs> He's all refreshed. All right. um, I'm going to use... I think what I'm going to do is... Oh, his crap never transferred. Damn it. Uh, all right, so I need to... All right, let me pull him up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get Mirage out so I can do this correctly here. Mirage, Mirage. Come here, Mirage. Or Mirage, whatever his damn name is. Um... So he, I'm gonna make him make a. Let's see. W wisdom check would be. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Is <laughs> he's gonna make a wisdom saving. Throw. Whether it's literally wisdom or something else, but effectively it's a wisdom check. Is he wise? I'm looking at. Um... Um, all right, so I'm gonna give him a I'm gonna give him a saving throw and that'll determine what he's doing. Oh crap. Thank you, Farron, for reminding me. Um Kaylin, I need you to make uh some saving throws, dude. I kinda okay. have been overlooking it. Uh so Alright, so um okay, so make it give me another constitution saving throw. All right, uh, so let's see what you get. Uh, 15 is ex just enough, a little bit over what you needed. A 15 is successful. So after that, this is kind of winding back a bit. Uh, <clears throat> after that initial round of you feeling like slow and sluggish, your muscles starting to tense, you um, you kind of shake it off. After You see Marlos fall to, to Farron's uh wizardry and or sorcery i should say and you kind of like you realize the fight's over shake your head and kind of like snap out of it all right so this is for mirage he yeah. has seen bossel on like charge past you at a normally fast speeds twice is a little hmm. weird too so he is hmm. he says um This is, uh, perhaps if you would stop talking like a madman, I might understand what you are trying to say. All right, so Kaylin, you're in there now. I'm going to give Mirage an initiative roll, too, I guess. Ba -bum 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 -bum. Yeah, I don't hear the music for some reason. Is it playing? No, nope, I don't hear it. Oh, there we no, go. It <laughs> uh, what's his initiative? Zero. No, no. All right, so put him in the order, and then I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna, fair, and I'm gonna let you come back to the top of the order there, where you belong. Um, Black Earth Guard is dead. That out. <clears throat> All right, so that was Bosslon, then Kaylin. So back to you, Farron. What do you want to do? You clean yourself uh, up. <laughs> yeah. This and that. Finally all done. Uh, just... Ooh, I rolled a 20 for a mirage. How about that? Uh, just turn the car out. Um, so what, what are they doing? Are we going? 
Uh, well, see, I guess, but I told the guy that I wasn't going to attack him, so I'm just going there and start taking his potions. All but right. I think they're going to kill him. So, yeah. There's that. You probably don't know what's uh, going on other than you heard saw Bossel on charge up there. Well, and I told y'all on the crashing. way back, though. Remember when I came back, I was like, hey, I told him that I wasn't going to kill him, mm -hmm. so if you want to go in there and, and kill him, I can go down here and get the the guard, but y'all came to get the guard instead. I use my so. action to dash, but I'm not really dashing. It's more of just like a brisk walk. Sure. All right. Uh, hmm. All right. Mirage is saying... He looks at you and he says, um, he says, I thought you were going to leave me to my work. What is this about now? And he's looking at you, boss long. Oh, you didn't need to reroll initiative there. Oh, uh, sorry. But that's fine. You're right where you were. So, so is he waiting for me to respond, or just... Uh, it looks like he's not doing anything, so that's kind of his turn. Okay. So um, I, I slow down a little bit and just sort of, like, glare at him. Okay. Said, we are just sick of dealing with these people. We came here to resolve this. Everyone we've come across has just been, you know... Oh. Evil? <laughs> yeah, he's, like, searching for the words. Awesome. It's like the people you support and the things they do are just beyond reprehensible. We are shutting this down as we have been instructed to do. I suggest, if you value your safety, you leave these premises now. This place is closed. Leave your stuff, dude! <laughs> Alright, Kyra, Dishes what are, you are doing? done, man. Um, Kyra is going to dash. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you said difficult terrain over all the bodies, right? Correct, thank you. Okay. Six, seven... Eight, nine, it's slippery with 10, 11, and and 12. Um, I dash as my action. And um, I say, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, don't, don't break all the stuff in there. And that's all I say. Oh, and as I pass by Farron, I say, oh, you know, you just maybe not quite as gruesome. And that's all I say. All right. So, Boslan, it's your turn. Um, at this point. He heard what uh, you said. Is there anything else you wanted to do? No, I think that was it. I'm just going to sort of like talk to him. I'm not actively going to attack him because he hasn't been hostile to us. And I'm calming me down a little bit here. I was mainly just hoping to keep the initiative. Inertia going and, you know, chase his ass out of here. All right. So, no, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just, uh, I guess, pretty much said my say. I'm going to, like, sleeve the, uh, or, you know, restow the crowbar and put my hand on the uh, short sword. Okay. Kaylin, what do you want to do? Um, I am... I'm just going to start, and I'm going to try and intimidate him, too. Um, I'm going to try and use my words mm. to get him, you know, to just kind of add on to what Vassalon was doing. Because, I, you know, I don't have sh I mean, I'm beat. Kalen's beat. So we're just going to try and intimidate him and see if we can get him out of the door. Okay. Oof. Jesus. Um... <clears throat> so, uh, just give me another. Yeah, he doesn't seem to be. He doesn't seem to be threatened by you guys. Uh, but he's certainly getting angry. <laughs> he seems more irritated than angry. Um. Yeah. You don't see him to... He doesn't seem to be getting angry. He seems to be, like, remarkably composed. 
I don't suppose as a bonus action I could try to persuade him <laughs> 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 to switch from yelling at him. Pardon me, sir. Do you have, <laughs> have any thoughts? Now that I'm calm in the last oh. three seconds, what do you want to say to him? Um. Now look, I know I used very harsh words before, but that's because it's a very tense situation here. We've just slaughtered all of your compatriots, and I think it's in your best interest if you leave. Good day, sir! <laughs> <laughs> my drop. Uh, all right. No, so Give me a persuasion roll. We'll see what happens. Oh, my yeah, God! <laughs> That's a plus. Okay, just for the record, my persuasion is a plus nine. I rolled a three. <laughs> wow. No soup for you. It happens. Right? <laughs> well, we were really good at killing stuff this this session. And <laughs> I know. Really bad at <laughs> talking is not working. Apparently, it's terrible. All right, so Farron, it's your turn. What do you want to do? You you heard what Kaylin said a moment ago. Spoken her bitches leave. <laughs> <laughs> Persuasion. <laughs> um. I just woke up. Ah, excuse me. Um. Oh, so we're trying to convince this fellow to leave. Um. I guess it would be in your best interest. I mean, look at Crazy over there, and you've got Mr. Aggressive and Mrs. I won't do anything to you. But. Eh. She'll probably give you a bath. That's probably reason enough to leave. Oh, I stare in the back of his skull like daggers. You could almost feel the singeing of your hair. <laughs> um. All right. <clears throat> All right. Um. I should have this. So that's Farron's turn. So you're not really going to do anything then, huh? Doesn't no, I was pretty much just like reiterating everybody telling him to leave. It's a good idea. But I'm trying to be not threatening. If okay. I need to get threatening, I'll threaten to like clean him. <laughs> um, I'll get the stuff out of your hair. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah, that's right. He likes to be muddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, I forgot. He wants, he wants to be all... I'll clean you if you earth. don't leave. <laughs> I will. I will precipitation you super clean. I will stone shape this mud into solid rock. I don't know. But I'll only say that if he gets antsy. Uh, well, he just kind of seems to he he you repeats his uh, his um what he said before he says he says. This is becoming tiresome. I thought we had an agreement. You leave me here, I will cause you no trouble. I can continue my work. Has our arrangement changed? <laughs> I yell out, Nope! Not with me! <laughs> uh, so, Kyra, you're not going to do anything? Nope, I am. I'm going to go in here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. And uh, then right. I'm going to go, I'm going to dash, one, two, uh, right. and I am going to, I can't do it this round, but the next round I will start pocketing all of his stuff. Oh, that's not going to happen. <laughs> well, that's what I'm doing. Um, and I say, I say you, you go on and do what you're doing. I'm not going to hurt you hmm. unless you hurt me, but I am going to take your stuff because it's so there. And we kind of loot things, but I'm not going to hurt you because I said I wasn't going to. And I keep my word. All right. 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 Relax. That's what I say. Uh, <clears throat> so. Yeah, it looks like I'm about to take pinch of stuff. Like, basically do the whole. Sheep. I move the whole desk into my purse. When, and okay. <laughs> keep going. Uh, That's what I'm going to do. Me, I got to check. This is getting. I got to check something. I got to check something. Yeah, he gets upset. He's probably going to start attacking. And then I guess he'll have to die then. But I, it's like, you no, could just um, leave your so stuff. So here's what happens. Uh, you you start taking a few steps that way. Um, and here's what he does. Uh, oh, so I don't even get to finish my turn, in you, essence? 
Yeah. In essence, no. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, one, two, three. I just, I'm just counting well, to make sure. I yeah, know how far okay. away. Yeah, for sure. So, so you get about there, and he okay. can see that you're. He's like, he's watching all of you. He sees that you're moving off that direction. Mm -hmm. And he goes. You watch him make this kind of motion like this. He lifts his arms like this, and mm -hmm. and as you're about to take another step. <sighs> Out of the ground, a wall of stone wa rises up in front of you. Okay. Uh, so, let me... so then that means I can complete my turn then? Since I um, hold on, let me show you where it goes. So it basically starts from. Let's see. So he's gonna go one. Oh, I need to make it thick. Uh, make it extra large. Let's see how that works. One, two. <laughs> This is going to be a real stupid reason why I use this third level spell, but I'm going to do it just because Kyra is is being dumb right now. Essentially, he's going he's gonna to like... bypass stone wall. So don't get mad at me when I do something stupid. I, I don't think I have that. I don't think I took that. But I did take something else. I'm just saying it's like create door. <laughs> I don't know. I have to check. I have to check mine. He basically throws up a stone wall in front of you. Okay. Um, how big is it? How it is? Ten feet. That's what tall? she said. <laughs> uh, wow. Let me check wow. How high yeah, you know, I probably. Yeah. Corridor yeah. is. He's apparently had enough of the antics. Are you impressed how hard it is, Kyra? Oh, <laughs> Maybe uh, if she knew anything like that, but since she like doesn't know a man, so <laughs> all right. But Boslin doesn't know a man either. Oh wait, I have that <laughs> saved. I don't. I that's one of my things that I can do. All right, cool beans. I forgot. Land druid. So, um, yeah. So it doesn't reach all the way to the ceiling at the moment. But that's sort of a reaction. Uh, uh, he was holding that action. Yeah, and no problem. But suit... how long is it? I kind of need to know like where it Can is. Because I want to see, see if I'm going to walk around it. Or like <laughs> if it's like, you're not walking around it. Can All right, you... okay. Can you not right. see it? No, I can see it now. No, I can. I, I didn't see it I before. Can, I can make it a little a different color. Oh, no, I can, I can see it now. I just didn't see it before. Is that any easier? Is that easier? No, it's fine. It Whatever yeah, you did that good. second time is when, All right. you know. All right, so so he throws up. So you start to try to cruise across the uh, room. He sees you making a beeline for the tables, and he's kind of like had enough. In fact, you hear him curse because he knows he just wrecked one of his tables. He's like, "Damn it!" <laughs> All right, so um, can I finish my yes? Move now, so okay, so it doesn't go. So that, the ceilings like, are like Whoa. fifteen feet tall. The wall goes up ten feet. So there is a five foot gap between the ceiling and the top of the wall. Okay, so I go, whoa! And I touch it and I do dispel magic. Interesting. Uh, I think I gotta roll for it though, because I think it's one level higher than um, dispel magic. Uh, and I don't have any fourth levels, because uh, I know what he did, because I can do the same thing. And if I had a fourth, I'd cast it at fourth. But since I only have a third, I'm gonna cast it. So we can I mean, we gotta be able to move through the doll. It's just gotta go away. So, so spell magic. Uh, so you gotta. Oh, well, whatever. Did you pop? I will. It it's no, it's no. like a. Um, I just have to roll. It's the DC. So if it's a if it's a fifth. Yeah, I'm trying to figure that then out. Then I need to do um a fifteen. Okay. But I need to find out. What I roll though, yeah. DC okay. equals ten plus yep. the spell level. Yep. So, on a roll uh, I need to see if I don't think it's just a solid. Is it just a solid D twelve? I think it's something else with that. It might be my my magic, whatever, plus my spell casting ability. Yeah, spell casting ability. Yeah. All right, so I think it's plus four. Uh, or hold on, let me see. Oh no, no, more than that. I think it's plus seven. Because I'm proficient with a magic key. Yeah. Yeah. Plus seven. All right. So I have to. I'll just roll a, a die plus seven. Sure, D20 that's fine. plus seven. That's fine. Okay. So I got to get 15. 
Come on, don't do bad things. Come on, be higher. I need this wall to go away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me Thank higher. You. Oh, yes! yeah, 22 is it definitely. It goes away! Um, <laughs> and I have no more spells. <laughs> Last one on a, yeah. on a spell um, magic. All right, super. So the wall, so that's your action. You still have a little bit of movement and... Uh... And... I will move my last, I think, okay, that was one, two, th that was one, two, three, four. Okay, so then five, six. Okay, there. so, wait, okay, so <clears throat> he says, again, this is a free action. So he says, um, he says, I suggest that you all leave me now. And you see against the back wall one of the statues starts to move and is watching you kyra <laughs> kyra's a threat for walking and everybody else like he's... trying to kill him and he's like nah, nobody's trying right. to kill him <laughs> I'm threatening his livelihood, I guess. <laughs> well, he's a perfectionist, and he, yeah, yeah, you're messing with his... He already, I already messed with this stuff star. earlier, yeah. so yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, all right. uh, she likes messing with stuff. You can't, can't help it. Let me just check something very quickly. Dang it, I all this flipping back and forth. I need more... I need to be more organized. Uh, thank you, Reed, by the way. Tell me that was a, a five. I thought it was a fourth level. It was fifth level. I can do that later. I can't do that right now. What is it? Transmute rock or something? I don't even know what it is. I'm trying to figure out what the... Oh, wall of stone. Duh. Wall of stone. That's what it was. That's a fifth level. Um, where did I put that? Which I will be taking. You just kind of like... It's like wall of stone and then you just kind of like... Oop. You just like tap it with your finger and it crumbles to the ground. Like, yeah, and I just oh. walk over it. <laughs> You're like, oh, how did that get there? Sorry. <laughs> just, just wait me a minute. Uh, all right, let me pull this out. All right, so to stop me from taking his stuff. All right, so thing right here that's gonna pound on me. <laughs> did you have anything else, or you, that was it? Oh, um, um, a bonus action. Um, yeah, I have no more spells, so I can't do anything. Okay, so that's it for. I Kyle. can just do cantrips. <laughs> all right, so cantrips. Next is Vosslon. Just, just the tramps. So I'm sort of deflating. I'm just going to give the laughs. You know, ah, slap them on the shoulder. It's like, you know what? I like you, Mirage. You got balls. We'll leave you to your place. I'm out of here. Sorry for the mess. Oh, and congratulations on your promotion. You're now in charge of this wreck. Don't abuse it. Okay. I'll head towards the door, bubbling. Where's my battle axe? Oh yeah, that's right. You don't have any. You don't have it with you. It's over there. So I gotta go pick it up. <laughs> pick All it right. Up <laughs> so, so you say you're gonna leave and you walk away. He does not, because you said that. He does not try to do any, to molest you or do anything uh, against you. Um, the heck is going on? I'm on the... That's the problem. All right. Uh, that because that went away uh so kaylin having seen this do you want to do anything no i i pass i'm just gonna move out here all right uh farin and cairo well farin what are you gonna do um just seeing everybody's leaving it's like um i'll just i'm no longer a pretty princess. Um, oh, uh, well, <laughs> probably didn't recognize me. Uh, anyway, um, I see. Kyra's not stopping. She's getting her shame, loot. Shame about your table. Um, Kyra, are you coming? I say, I, I, I'm coming. I just need to grab some stuff real quick, and I'll be right behind you. I look back at <laughs> Mirage, and I... Are you going to be happy with her taking stuff? Or should I try and persuade uh, her not to? Give me an insight check with advantage. 
I mean, it's asking him, he can just respond. Yeah, I know, but he didn't say anything. But I'm uh, wondering. You're pretty certain he's not going to let her take anything. <laughs> <laughs> it was he, easy. Like play, <laughs> you get the sense that you get the sense that playtime is over as far as Mirage is concerned. It's like he's he's done being cordial. He's given you the opportunity to leave. He's asked you politely. He doesn't really want to fight, but if you force him, I'm not gonna fight him. And he's not gonna let. He, you can tell he's not gonna let <laughs> uh, Kyra take anything from the table. Yeah, Ky Kyra's, Kyra's. Can I try and persuade Kyra? Because uh, everybody else is gone. I would say it's a hard check because she's everybody else is loot. Gone. <laughs> she worked hard. All these people, they don't have anything but stuff that's useless. I'm well, getting my know loot for my haven't, combat. You, nobody has said Some, I'm going to search. That's true. Security. That's true. But exactly. that's what Kyra's right. thinking. Sure. Oh. Um. So I'll be like, um, she's being thievery right now. Kyra, darling. Everybody's gone? I don't think you can take on Mr. Mud Mage and his stone golem all by yourself. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to grab some stuff Kyra, and I'm going to leave. I think he's very happy with you taking his stuff. Look, I need payment for all of the baddies. Look, we just made him second. His went from second in command to commander. That's got to be worth something. You gotta check what the commander has before you make another enemy. To roll. I will roll. I say you need to make it hard because I am like not doing it. Unless... Disadvantage. Well, that's pretty strong. 17. You, you, you gotta make it hard. Oh, oh all right. Gosh. <laughs> Let me roll then, I guess. Um, I I, I'm gonna yell from outside. I'm like, uh, Kyra, can I have a word a moment? So, yeah, after I get this stuff, I'll be right give with me you. a charisma saving throw, I think. Okay. That, that's fair. You gotta be to 17. Oh. Mm -hmm. Your king I knew you were gonna say that. suggested that's... that... See? This is... I'm so easily persuaded. That is not my... <laughs> I am like... Now, I... Alright. Um, Alright. Okay. I got something for you, Farron. For disrupting me. I'm just suggesting maybe we should look at what we've got first before taking things. But yeah. Uh, that'll be it. I'm just gonna stay there. Yeah, you're waiting. Thank okay. You. Um, Mirage is uh, Mirage is standing where he is, <laughs> uh, but the this. golem actually it moves like <laughs> it basically imposes itself between you and the uh it's not threatening but it's like it's definitely in that's your threatening <laughs> well i mean i mean it, it moves up to you it's not trying to attack you it just stand. it's like and then like stands right in front of you that's it that's all it does all right uh so that's that's basically mirage's turn so kyra it's back to you Okay. I. Farron has been pretty convincing. I look at Farron. You can still not do in Kyra's mind. I'm. I'm gonna not touch it. I honest. I'm just gonna be above board. I think it's a bit unfair because I really like. You can, you can if you want to do it. Want. Right, I'm gonna touch it. Go, you go with do... the okay. You persuaded me. But you can do no, whatever you want. I mean, he has. He's made a very convincing argument in Kyra's mind. That's all. That's all that just happened. But you right, know, I'll still do whatever, whatever you want. I'm just like saying, maybe go ahead and look at what's out there first. Okay, so this is what I do. Like, call you know, down from you the know, hallway. If you like walk out there and you're like, oh, this stuff's crap, I'm going to go back and get my stuff. Okay, <laughs> do, do I get an attack of opportunity when I walk away? He does not try to attack you. Okay, I go and put my finger in this guy's face. I say... Give me something to not take your stuff and kill you right now. Uh, okay, give me an intimidation check. I'm gonna make it pretty easy. In fact, I give you advantage. 
Nope. It's just it, not going to matter. I'm so bad at intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> intimidation I'm so going to fail. Failed. Every time like, I've done I intimidation, like, I have like, failed. Another 20, world. right? Another 20. Here, here comes another 20 from... Uh... Hey, 15. <laughs> oh, look no, at that. seven. I was looking at the wrong number again. See? Seven. Look um, at that. But I said 13. advantage, so 13. <sighs> um, so, so he... Um, he... He cracks a little bit of a smile. Like you Give can see, he's still a little pissed off. He I cracks a, a little bit of a smile, um, and he says, "He says, I can see you are on your way to becoming a powerful woman." And he does. He actually, the table's kind of crashed down now because of the stone wall. It like <laughs> kind of the middle kind of erupted, so stuff slid to the ground. Some f things broke. Some things didn't. He re he reaches he's still looking at you but he reaches down below his feet and he hands you a bottle. What is it? He says that my dear is a potion of water breathing. Inside check. Sure. Well, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I end up ahead. drinking it and then like yeah, yeah. we're like you don't believe 30 him, days fair. away and end up dying cuz yeah. <laughs> <I believed him. laughs> All right. Uh, you, he's, he has given you no reason to disbelieve him. He's been he is everything he has said has been on the level, and he's been very calm and relaxed. And you saw that he got irritated when you were trying to take his stuff, but since you kind of asked him, sort of, yeah. <laughs> sort of asked, yeah. not really. <laughs> told. Yeah, told. So I say to him, I say, you know. For you, we just made you boss. So which I care nothing about. I know that, but you're gonna care when you get all your stuff together. So we're Apparently, gonna just clean out the rest of this place, maybe. So you Apparently. might just be alone, like you wanted to be. However, you did say something about paying us if we go deal with these fire folks. We might come back and get some more payment. And I use the rest of my movement to walk away, which is only like there <laughs> sure fair enough okay i say i guess getting the, getting the potion and sticking it in my pocket yeah. is like an act all right so are we gonna go out of initiative now like we're out of we're not yeah gonna, i'm not gonna do anything a, okay i'm a bit miffed yeah you you probably like walk past farron and give him because i could have like had a whole table worth of stuff but i got <laughs> one potion <laughs> so i'm miffed sure. i was like we need to get paid for this job yeah, definitely. All right, okay. so we'll go outside and search. You leave the room. Uh, the door shuts behind you. Uh, uh, actually, the the golem follows you out. It I follows I you to the door, and as soon as Farron walks out, he's just you know that the golem is just standing behind the door. So he basically, when you close the door, he's standing right here. All right, so you close the door, and then uh, I'm gonna take them back to the. I can't see them. Uh, so, all right. So, what do you guys want to do? So, you're outside the I room. Magic. The threats are all gone. That was well done. Yeah, that was perfect. Has Has Bosslan already started going through the bodies? Is that... Yeah, I was gonna get my axe and start looking in the bodies. All right. So, you pick up your axe. Uh, I'm gonna save some time and say okay. that when you go through here, you don't find a whole lot of stuff. Um, I'll say. I'll tell you what, uh, maybe the the priest and the ogres might have a little bit. Let me let me check something real quick. Uh, they might have a little bit, not a lot, but they might have a little bit. Um, Portion of water breathing. Where's the damn number? Uh, yeah, okay. So yeah, he doesn't I'll, want that. I'll give you a, give you a little bit here. Um, What's going? I'm just gonna roll it from here. So uh, we're gonna go Ooh, with. He doesn't want a potion of water breathing because that involves water. Who? The dude. Uh, no, he gave you the sense that he is comfortable with water as well as earth when you were talking with him because he basically he said he's a mud sorcerer. He can't get mud without water. I know, but it's like he likes to be dirty. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> All right. So you collect a total of 48 gold pieces between... The ogres, the priest, uh, 
Marlos didn't have that on, anything on him. You guys have determined that you the the armor is stone armor. The weapons are stone weapons. However, Marlos's weapon, which you can see very quickly, is incredibly remarkable. It's uh, it is this. It's a war pick. It's quite large. Uh, is does anyone want to pick it up? It's lying next to his body right now. It's uh, I should be cursed. It seems Y'all to be. Someone else's. It seems to be made from iron at a, at first glance. Uh, you see <sighs> ancient see runes easy. inscribed on the head. It's kind of a fang-like beak. Uh, in fact, let me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find a picture. I should have that for you anyway. Let me see if I can't find. Should have had that prepped for y'all. Uh, let me go grab that real quick, and I'll pop it on the screen. But anyway, so it's it's sitting on the ground. Would anyone like to... Uh... Yeah, I'll pick it up. Uh, let me see. Okay, so you reach down, you pick it up. Uh, here's an image. Breathe in the water for one hour. Cloudy green fluid. All right. uh, uh, Let's uh, wrap up soon too. It's eleven o'clock. Yeah, I'm trying to get to this. I just want to show you what it looks like, and then we'll. Um, so, uh, damn it. Um, right there it is. Here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Uh, all right, it's uploading. So just give it a sec. Um, so you pick it up. It's, it's remarkably heavy when you lift it up is the first thing you notice. Um, it's inscribed with runes. Uh, Ooh, magic weapon. Are you going to swing it? Or are you just going to hold it? Um, what do you want to do with it? Oh, that's cool. That's kind of what it well, looks like. If you... That's a cool looking pick. I say it suits you best a lot. Yeah, I'll, I'll play with a little bit. I mean, this is the one that he stuck me with, right? With the uh, thunder yeah. effect. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice little trinket right there. Yeah. Add that to your repertoire. Um, I think, <laughs> well. Does it have, like, any, obviously, evil symbols or anything on it? Or just, lose, like, an ornate oh, magical we lo thing? We sort? lost Kaelin. Oh, can, no. we, can we arcana it? The um, two walking around the corner looking at it. Um, poor man's arcana just to, uh, and we might not be able to ascertain if it's like hmm. evil and whatnot, but at um, least if it, I mean, I'm pretty sure we know it's magical, but something, any inclination of what Basilon was saying? Somebody's going to have to spend some time with it to get any information about it. Uh, okay. But Makes sense. it's definitely uh, seems to be a powerful weapon. Uh, above the table, I'm going to say that I know uh, Colin is I think Kaylin is interested in the weapon because he and I had talked about it before. Um, so possibly we want to um, maybe I don't know, we can give it a minute to see if he comes back. I know uh, Baslan, I know Brett, you're you're wanting to step out, so we could call it here. We'd have really awesome fight. Maybe this you loft this weapon and kind of hold it in your hand. You kind of roll it around and look at it. And that seems like a pretty good place to maybe call it an evening. And, yeah, if we lost him. I, he can certainly have it. I was just picking it up because it was laying there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to make sure we get maybe even what the the crazy mage had or just anything. Just kind of. Yeah, that's. If that's, that's it, just the war pick and the, the some coins, 48. Yeah. yeah, these guys were. I mean, they're just. The, again, they have okay. their items, their armor and weapons and stuff. But, yeah, too heavy. Yeah, no problem. It's kind of. Yeah, I'm not proficient in picks. Yeah, it's a martial weapon, so. But definitely, um, I know Kalen's interested in it. He's actually, we'll say, we'll say Kylan sees, Kalen sees you picking it up and, and says, Boslan, might, might I hold that for a moment? And he kind of. Sure. You, know, you hold it out to him. And that's, uh, I think that's what we'll call it a night, guys. That's, uh, that was a lot for me. I I'm, uh, I'm worn out. That was a fun adventure. That was our five or ten minutes. <laughs> All right, so we'll we'll see next Bear time in. if we can figure out what you guys are gonna do. Uh, try to get some rest. Y'all are tapped for sure, and uh, found this pretty cool, pretty cool instrument. It's 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 remarkable. It looks 
let me say it this way. Uh, Boslan, you all, you all have seen that Boslan has finely crafted short sword. It is amazing. You can see what he's done with it. You know it's magical. It is amazingly well crafted. Farron has a, an incredibly well hewn bow. It's it's beautiful. It's it's imbued with elven magic. It's powerful. This weapon is like nothing any of you have ever seen. And that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you for joining us. We had a great time playing tonight. Appreciate you stopping in. Can't wait to see you at a table someday. And keep rolling 20s, everybody. <laughs>